So, everybody's been asking me to take them on plant walks, but the places I go are really remote, so I can't really do a live plant walk with my phone um, over Instagram like folks want, so I'm going to start making all these little videos. So we're out here in the Northeast Oregon Blue Mountain Range, um, next to the river, out looking for mushrooms and just whatever's waking up, and we came across some turkey tail mushrooms, so I thought, you know, that's a good place to jump in because I'm always um, talking about turkey tails with you guys um, over on my Instagram. So um, I'm going to go ahead and take the camera from my husband <laughs> and show you what these turkey tails look like and talk about what we can use them for and things like that. All right. So um, <clears throat> I'm pretty sure this is Sitka alder. Um, she's really the only hardwood that we have here in Northeast Oregon, one of the few anyhow, um, because turkey tails like to grow on hardwood. So this is a turkey tail mushroom and she can be different colors depending on, there we go, depending on um, the wood she's growing on. And alder, alder bark, you can use it for like a, a dark brown red dye. So almost any time I find turkey tails on an alder, she's got red rings in her. And I, I believe that is from um, the fact that um, the dye, the bark gives a red color. So anyhow, um, but she will always have, let me get on the other side of the log here. It's growing all the way down the log, too. The whole log is, is flushing. Although these are a little further past what we'd want to use, um, there are a few fresher ones on the top. And you can see she grows in a shelf-like manner, um, but she always has um, these rings. These rings are really tail tail. I always say that wrong. Um, and if I could get my husband to hand me my knife out of my basket, um, I will show you, I will cut her, I don't want to just rip her, I'll cut her off and um, we might be able to identify depending on, um, if she's too far gone it's kind of hard to show you what the underneath spores are like. Turkey tails are really, um, this is not my mushroom knife, but it'll do, uh, turkey tails are really um, easy to identify, um, oh yeah and she's just about perfect. So, do you, let me get the camera to focus. Do you see all those tiny little pores? That is how you know it's a turkey tail. Um, of course, you can do a spore print, but they have little pores instead of gills. Um, let me get real close there. Yay, camera, you focused. So, it's pretty hard to misidentify. Um, there is one look-alike, but she tends to be like, um, let me get it to focus there. She tends to be completely tan, um, and her underneath gills are not the same. They're more of a, uh, they look like a bunch of like lion's teeth kind of. But um, there are a lot of studies that suggest that that um, other look-alike mushroom has some of the similar properties and it's not poisonous. Um, most wood mushrooms, um, I wouldn't call them edible because they don't taste great, but they are medicinal. Um, and as far as I've read, of course, through your own research, there's um, no um, no poisonous wood mushrooms that, um, like, nobody's found any that are, like, flat-out poisonous. Inedible, yes, but poisonous, no. And those are two different things. So, what is turkey tail mushroom good for? Um, she's really, really amazing at folks who are fighting the battle against cancer. So I wouldn't call her, a lot of people say, oh, she's an immune booster, but that's not actually what she does. Um, these turkey tail mushrooms are actually really amazing at regulating an immune system. And the way that helps um, with the battle against cancer, whether you're going through chemotherapy or you found out you have like precancerous HPV cells or anything like that, or even if you have an autoimmune issue, uh, but I'll get to that in a second, um, is that she helps your body recognize invasive things and the thing that's hard about cancer is our bodies don't recognize it as something wrong because it's our own cells that have mutated so like our body thinks this cancer is like an okay part of us what turkey tail does is she comes in and she says hey hey i need you to pay attention to what's going on here you know i need you to see this cancer i need you to understand and she's really good at like fighting like flus and colds and just um, virals in general because it helps our body um, recognize what's going on. 
Um, but the thing about um, turkey tails is that they have these things called PSK, and I'll put the actual scientific name of it in the um, description, that can only be accessed by heat and water at the same time. So it's important that if you make a tincture out of her, that you make a double decoction, which is where um, you make your tincture, and then like you take the mushrooms out after the six to eight weeks of um, letting it you know, tincture, and then you boil them down again and again and again, and then you add that water back to a small amount of that water, which is like really strong tea, back to um, your tincture. But if you're just going to find these and make tea with them, you need to simmer them somewhat aggressively, not quite boil, but simmer them hard for at least an hour to get her medicinal benefits um, extracted. Um, she's a really good digestive aid. She's, she's good for people with autoimmune um, because she doesn't, like I said before, she's an immune regulator. So if your immune system is like really sluggish, she'll pick it up. If your immune system is going crazy, like with most autoimmune stuff, she will calm it down. So, you know, she's just a really great ally to have. And if you don't feel comfortable going out and IDing her yet, there's definitely places online where you can buy bulk organic turkey tail mushrooms. Um, and I, one of my favorite things, um, cause I am um, a cervical cancer survivor. And so I have turkey tail mushroom in my life like every day. Um, I find her and I boil her into tea <clears throat> after I have dried her. And then I like to mix it with miso. Turkey tail mushroom tea with miso added in tastes so good. I love it. If you like the flavor of mushrooms, you probably won't mind the flavor of turkey tail because she doesn't taste horrible. Um, she's almost kind of peppery, a little bit of a spice to her sometimes. So anyhow, definitely do your research on IDing mushrooms. This is not in uh, like a for sure 100 proof guide, but you know, it's a start. It gets you thinking about, it gets you curious, it gets you out there looking and finding these logs that have mushrooms growing on them. And what's really neat about turkey tail is she grows basically everywhere. Anywhere there's hardwood and moisture, and I'm talking about almost any continent, she is alive and well. And again, um, the defining things to look for, how oh, pokey, pokey vine getting me, is the stripes in her white shelf hair. You know, she always has this white lip and she always grows in a shelf type manner and she always has these stripes and then underneath um, she has the um, defining pores that we looked at earlier. So I won't harvest any more of these. There's not a ton of them and they're a little past, meaning most of them have spored out and started to mold a bit. So I want the big fresh ones who just come out. Um, but anyhow, that's a quick video and definitely be looking forward to more of these throughout the um, harvesting season. So. All right, we'll see you next time. Bye.